dollar a year, not renting a car, free trial round before we join any membership. Picking up all the golf balls and don't even have to spend any money on tees. And we never lose a ball. Make sure you don't lose any what? golf ball. So do I get this? Yeah, that. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, right. interested. Let's go get started. I wonder if it works. Okay. I hold a ball. When we play golf, we glue a string on the golf ball, and after we hit the ball, we just follow the string to make sure we will never lose the golf ball. Does this really work? And it got me thinking, if it does work, is it possible to do this with a fishing rod? First, we have to take the fishing line and put it into a bucket of water. Now, we can feed it through the eye of the fishing rod and tie a tiny knot around the reel. The fun part, it's time to wind up the line on the reel. The more line we have, the further the ball will go, and a better chance we will have at scoring. <laughs> so here we are on the fifth hole, which is a 150 yard par three. The first hole we're gonna be playing with the never ever losing golf ball. We need to think of a better name for this. Our thoughts on what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Um... <laughs> it's going to be, I think the funny thing is going to be, is if I do pull it or push it, mm. do you think you'll be able to control it whilst holding it? Do you I, think I, you'll I, be able to steer it back on track? Okay. <laughs> if, if I pull it or pull it, pull it or push it. I can lock it, so you will only come back 10 yards. <laughs> All right, so let's get onto it. We've yeah. talked enough. Yeah, we need let's some fishing puns as well, don't we? Let's do this. I'm confident. Yeah, I'm okay. Confident. Fucking nervous. <laughs> it's racing. It's a lot of work. It is a lot of work. It's a lot of work. All right, you ready? Yeah. Oh my God. It, it, it worked. It worked. It worked. It worked. It worked. I, I think you could go a bit more. It, it doesn't matter. It worked. I didn't know how hard to hit it, yeah. but it worked. That was mad. <laughs> crazy. Okay, it's fine. This is the first hole, guys. So obviously, next hole, we know what we're doing. Shorter par three. I'm taking that. Yeah. You could play it easy. I mean, how far? Can you zap it? The distance? Never lose a golf ball ever again. <laughs> Make sure you don't lose any golf ball. We have got the famous 69 yards. I'm not making that up. We actually do have 69 yards to the hole. And dad is moving my ball. Don't know if that's a shot penalty for me, but the ball is actually there. <laughs> <laughs> so, 69 yards would normally probably be a sand wedge or maybe even a lob wedge. Thinking gap. Gap, little punchy gap. What do you think? Take the extra club. Yeah. Punch it. Get up, get up high. Right. Good to go. I'm actually going to try and stick this close. <laughs> it's so hard to gauge. It, it, it's, you're playing out the rough as well. I'm pl plus the tension of this. You probably go another club. It looks like a spider web, like Spider-Man. It's just like <laughs> through the sky. <laughs> so we're placing the tee down every... Oh. <laughs> We're placing the tee down roughly every single time. So it's kind of like playing scramble. Feeling more confident with this one. Got a 54, my favorite club in the bag. Just gonna lob it up there. Ready, Dad? Yep. <laughs> you amaze me at times. If I was aiming at the hole. Mate. I, I could wheel it in. <laughs> yeah, can you just move it a bit? Like, just try and move it that way a little bit. <laughs> Cannot believe I'm actually saying this, but this is for Boggy. The amount of time I double this hole playing normal, and I am playing with a golf ball on a fishing rod. That family was an absolute genius. <laughs> but we just keep the fret longer, and it works. Uh, you stand right behind me. I want you in this frame. I want you in here. Right. Are we even reading this, first of all? I haven't even read this part. Left or right? I, I think it's two balls to the left. I cannot actually believe I'm saying this, but this is for Bogey. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Sí. <risa> So, I've actually set up a camera on the green, just in case it actually does do the green. I have a nine iron, it's only 120 yards, you usually take a 50 degree, but clubbed up twice. We found from the last hole that Dad can actually manage to get a bit of spin on the ball, so that could come in handy. Yeah. And, you, and if you overhit it, you can drag it back in again. That's crazy. It's nuts, but it's actually physically impossible to try and gauge any distance with this theory. No. Like, I could not hit a driver there. What was that, nine? So, and that was a very, like, not down smooth, probably would have played normally about 150, 160. It's crazy how much tension, though, isn't it? I'm still swinging a good, like, 80 miles per hour. Yeah. I I'm mad. Still my par, that's my par. Right, so I've got a pitching wedge in hand. It's probably only about 70 yards, but learning from that hole, there's no point in hitting the sandwich because it's going to be short. And then I learned that if I can get it past the hole, backspin somehow applies... A wind up? For me. <laughs> so, anything past the hole could be looking for a birdie right now. So, pitch me it is. That's pin high. That was beautiful. And you didn't even affect that, did you? I didn't even touch it. Just let yeah, nature just take feel. its course. Just playing Lynx golf out here, just feeling the club and the ball. <laughs> you know what I like about this idea? You go on a driving range, you just say, can I have one ball, please? <laughs> <laughs> one ball, just one ball. Yeah, one one ball. <laughs> Why is not moving my ball? It's pin high. <laughs> See, one in here. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> right, it's a fairly straight part, to be honest. No movement, really. Four par. Ooh. It rolls pure. That's just me. Is it? That's me. Right, let me... Uh... Wait, 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 wait. Go on. Grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. You got this. You got this. You got this. Lift. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your ball, okay. sir. <laughs> so that would be three over par. Well, technically I made a double. Dad kind of helped me on the last hole. So that would be two over on the first hole and one over there. Mm. So three over par. So three over par. It is possible to play golf <laughs> with this. The family wasn't lying. The gentleman came up with something genius. The wife was the perfect assist. Yes. Look at us. And make, had a good laugh. Look at us making history. I know. Guys, don't think there's actually any point playing the final hole. We know what's going to happen. It works. Yes. What would be interesting now is playing a par four. Hitting a driver with that. Now, I think I've got an idea. I think all we need, <laughs> because we've got the wire. You got a wire. The fishing line, sorry. We've got the fishing line. Mm -hmm. What we do need is a deep sea reel. reel. Yeah. Fishing reel. Bigger reel, more string. Yes. You're up to 900 meters. Mm. I don't hit a driver that far. No. Par four with this bad boy. Par four with a fishing rod. Yep. I will never lose a driver again. No, especially on the driving range. Can That'd imagine? be funny. That'd be funny, taking this on the driving range. Guys, I appreciate <laughs> each and every one of you for watching the video. We really do appreciate it. If you want to, if you don't mind, consider subscribing, liking, commenting, hitting that bell notification at the top so you do know when we next upload thank you mad mike for the assist thank you for helping build possibly it's one of my favorite toys it, it's genius i love it it's genius from an idea from reading an article to an idea to creating it to this <laughs> what's next i don't know but I'm, I'm, i can't wait for the next one i can't wait for the next one yeah. guys See you in the next video. We love you. Peace out. <laughs>